do need to make good decisions and be great examples for your younger siblings. Not only, not only your younger siblings, but other people. You guys are ninth graders, but you're gonna be 10th graders. The ninth graders are gonna be looking at you. Middle school age kids are looking at you. You are the example. of uh, eager, um, attentive, attentive, uh, disciplined, um, young uh, um, adolescents that are, are, are clamoring uh, for information to become better leaders. Um, and that's what we got throughout our, um, our, our speech and our talk. She can call them out because she knows that they're going to be in their seat at the proper time. They're gonna have done their homework. And that's what you guys are doing. You've already taken a step in that direction by being here today. So we talked about different types of ethics that we have to use, like honesty, respect, and teamwork. Her, her good discussions on all these questions and these things, what, but what was uh, number one? Who's who, who got an answer to that? Okay. I expect to learn more leadership activities and ways to communicate with people that you don't know. This activity, we were supposed to build a structure out of newspaper with a group of people we hadn't met before, and we practiced uh, working together in a group. We practiced learning how to collaborate and accept other people's ideas versus your own. And we also worked on how to solve problems when you're working on a deadline. I've learned that first impressions really count and how you speak and how you act can also affect what people think of you. I would definitely recommend this. It was a really fun experience. You get free food. It was worth it. And I want all of you guys to stand up and just give them a quick round of applause because they deserve it.